friends welcome to another vlog i'm excited to start this vlog off it's going to be just like a typical work week in my life what do i have going on this week um kind of unique because mac is actually working some like night shifts all week so we're going to be like ships in the night which kind of sucks um and then i just have like my runs that i have to do i have to do one today it's gonna be so hot though it's like 32 degrees and then what else yeah just my runs in the evening and that's kind of it and then this weekend i have some like really fun plans but we'll obviously save that for the weekend vlog so it's just going to be like a productive week in my life working and getting things done so i hope that you enjoy following along it is just after nine and i'm just um, about to head into the office Mondays are usually quiet at the office, but I love to go and just like get a bunch of shit done. So that should be good. Yeah, that's what's on deck for now. So I'm just checking my emails. Hi cuties, I just got home from work and it was honestly a really productive day. And I'm kind of excited that Mac is working tonight because then that means that I can work too and just be productive. <laughs> um, that's what happens when you leave me alone. But yeah, just got home and I got a package in from Abercrombie. I'm super excited about it. I missed another package, which sucks, but at least it's just over at the registry. And I'm pretty sure that this is my Tretinoin from Felix. So that came really fast, but let's open this up. So I saw this outfit on Danielle Carolyn. Danielle Carolyn. Anytime I say someone's name out loud, I'm like, am I saying that correctly? Anyways. <laughs> As soon as I saw her in a vlog in this outfit, it was an immediate purchase. I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit expensive for Abercrombie standards. The set was like $150. It wasn't on sale or anything, so I'm sure that it'll go on sale, but they only had limited sizes. So I really, really hope that this fits me because I'm thinking that this would be really cute for an LA birthday fit. Okay, so it's this little top the size actually looks good i got a medium in the top it's like a one shoulder situation and then i had to get a small in the skirt i would usually do a medium but they didn't have any mediums okay this actually might work because the small looks like a good size how cute is she okay i think that she's a sleigh i'm not a hundred percent sure but I think that she is. The thing I like about this is that it shows a tiny bit of skin, but not that much. Let me show you in my full length mirror. Okay, here she is. It's kind of giving like toga vibes, but I think that she's cute. I'd probably do sticky boobs. And I do kind of wish that I had a medium in the skirt, like the small fits me, but I feel like the top is a little bit like looser and the skirt is quite fitting. I might do like some spanks under it, but I think with like a cute purse and little wedge heels, this is gonna be a sleigh, a birthday sleigh, if you will. Okay, I've just put on shorts and a sports bra because I have to do a run tonight. I haven't decided if I'm gonna wait until later when it cools down. I don't even know how much it's gonna cool down because it's like 32 degrees right now, or if I'm just gonna go and do my run at the gym. Either option is fine, but other than that, I have a bit of cooking I wanna do, a bit of meal prep, because I didn't do any of that on the weekend. And then I have to post a TikTok that I filmed this morning. And then I also want to update my YouTube descriptions and just like update some stuff on my YouTube channel. So just some maintenance stuff. So busy night ahead of me, but all fun stuff that I love doing. Can't keep my head up off water With everything that's going on Can't help but feel like I'm falling Cause if it's normal I feel New angle unlocked on the balcony My street is so noisy Anyways, my run was good However, I was supposed to do these intervals and I just could not figure out the pacing on the treadmill and you can't i'm pretty sure you can't record indoor runs on a treadmill with the run app i'm sure if you're running on a track you could do it but 
um, I just like couldn't figure it out so I decided to do instead of like Monday's run I decided to do Thursday's run which was an easy 5k let me tell you it was not easy it was not easy <laughs> I don't know if it's because I've been running outside and the treadmill it was like throwing me off a bit but I was sweating and I was just so tired but I did it so that's all that matters I need to look into if I can do indoor runs on the run app because I wasn't able to like link that activity I was just able to say like completed but it doesn't have like my stats you know that's one thing that I've noticed that between my Apple watch and the run app I wish that they synced a bit better because the run app isn't counting my calories or measuring my heart rate so I'll record my run on my phone and on the run app but then both of those activities go into my activity on my phone so I haven't really been looking at my like total workouts and average calories burn and stuff which I used to do maybe that's a good thing because why do you need to look at that Mel hmm? Anyways, I'll figure it out, but I'm really glad that I got that done. Now I'm gonna make myself some pasta. I just like made some pasta before I left, cut up some rotisserie chicken, and I'm gonna do, I think, some pesto for my dinner tonight and my dinner tomorrow night. And then I may make some like stir fried turkey with celery that I have left over, maybe edamame beans and rice, and I think I'm gonna have that for dinner tomorrow night and then for lunch like the following day. I'm just like on my own for dinners this week so I'm kind of just like trying to use up things in my fridge I was joking with the girls at work that I want to like eat like ramen for dinner all night this week so that next week when I go to LA I can ball out and feel good about it so I'm gonna try and keep it like pretty inexpensive for groceries this week we'll see how that goes we'll see how that goes very easy dinner tonight just penne pesto and rotisserie chicken and then I'm gonna top it with this Frank's Red Hot Sauce Buffalo. It's not my favorite hot sauce. I'm a sriracha girly, but we all know that there's a sriracha shortage. I actually really need to stock up on hot sauce because I'm just finishing this and I need to put hot sauce on everything. Let me know in the comments if you're the same. I just love hot sauce. It goes on everything. Tuesday so I just finished two calls at home and now I'm heading into the office it's just after 11 I have that dr. Dennis gross lip filler stuff on so my lips are looking a little bit red and juicy you know why but I'm bringing some leftovers from last night pasta pesto and chicken and then I also have some almond butter pretzels from Trader Joe's and garlic chili cashews from Trader Joe's as well for a little snack. I may stop at Starbucks on the way to the office, TBD on that one. It's gonna be really hot today, so I'm wearing this t-shirt and this little skort that kind of makes me feel like, I was gonna say Dora the Explorer. Is that the right reference? Anyways, a little safari girl. I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna leave. Um, I've got two more meetings today and a lot of work to do a ton of videos to film so we're really getting after it today our street is officially a one-way I knew that they were gonna do this eventually but I didn't know it was happening like right now but I went to turn left on our street and I realized that it's now a one-way which is honestly great if you live in Martaloupe or if you live in Calgary and you've been in Martaloupe you know that it's fucking crazy like the traffic is really bad as it's like developed it's been so bad ever since we moved here three years ago we still love living here but the traffic is like really bad so I think that having a one-way is gonna help us because our street is like pretty narrow there's parking on both sides and it just gets a little bit chaotic so I think the one-way is gonna be great and maybe this will help us like find parking I don't know we'll have to see like I think it's gonna be good for us living on that street it's probably not great well I don't know they obviously made it a one-way for a reason to help the flow of traffic but I just don't know I even saw people parking on the other side of the street like some cars were facing one way some cars were facing the other because it's obviously gonna take us a while to get used to it but kind of fun I did end up ordering a Starbucks I got an iced green tea lemonade 
Okay, once again, it's hot as balls. Actually, it's a little bit, it's not as hot as yesterday was. But um, I stayed at work a little bit late, just had a busy day. I stayed until like 5.45, so I'm just heading home now. And I don't really have much going on tonight. I'm definitely gonna wash my hair because she needs it. I did this like hairstyle that I saw on TikTok that's like a slick back and you do like two knots and then you tie it into a bun. And it was, it worked out very well for like a hair washing day. So I definitely need to wash my hair. And then I have dinner that I made yesterday. I have like this turkey stir fry that I just need to make rice and then I'll have that for dinner and then I'll have some for my lunch tomorrow. So we love a meal prepping queen. But yeah, I also was gonna stop. I have another package that I have to pick up from the registry. I don't know if I feel like stopping there. I just kind of want to go home. And I know it's just my tretinoin and I literally put on tretinoin last night so I wouldn't even put it on tonight anyway so I might just procrastinate and wait until tomorrow to go and get it. Okay, I just saw this TikTok of this girl explaining her everything shower and her routine seems amazing and this is the comment that really got me someone said everything showers make me feel rebirthed and i was like i need an everything shower tonight because i don't remember the last time i washed my hair i'm gonna be real honest it really needs it i actually just put some more oil in it um, right before i get into the shower because that was this girl's first step but yeah i really need an everything shower i started doing this new shower routine that has been so amazing but I've kind of slacked off the past couple weeks with traveling and like getting out of routine so I'm gonna go into my shower I'm gonna I know that there's some empties in there so I'm gonna take anything empty I'm gonna do like a little detox of the product so that when I go in and do my everything shower as outlined by Cat Gold I'm gonna have the best everything shower like of my life so I'm feeling pretty excited and then I'm gonna put the air conditioning unit on and cool the room down so that I can just have like the most relaxing spa-like night to myself. Oh my goodness, walking back into this air-conditioned room right after the shower, heavenly. You are so ugly, but I love you. Okay, so I just had my everything shower and it felt amazing. I've been having a bit of a hard time like disconnecting tonight or like not thinking about work or things I have to do. And this happens a lot. <laughs> and something that has helped me is like this mantra or this like affirmation that I say to myself. And I thought maybe it would resonate with someone. So for me, I have like a very overactive mind and my thoughts are like always like racing and my brain just never powers off sometimes i can even have like intrusive thoughts that just like replay over and over and over and over we're getting real close here <laughs> we've gotten to that part of our relationship but anyways because my mind does that sometimes i need to come up with a phrase to say to myself over and over and over again in my brain to kind of like replace whatever like spiraling or overthinking thoughts that i'm having so something that i say to myself is my only job right now is to rest and that really helps me because it is telling my brain that likes to tell me that i constantly need to be productive that i'm being productive right now by and i'm fulfilling my one and only job like the job that is set out to me right now to rest i'm doing it perfectly and that really helps me i don't know if like honestly i should probably talk to my therapist about that because I don't know if that's like in turn kind of like an unhealthy thing that I'm like having to label it as a job for me to do it. But that's, it's, it's, it's like really not that deep. It's just something that I will like repeat to myself to try to get myself to live in the present moment and to sink into like resting. And it just works for me. I also use that when I'm driving. So when I'm driving, I'm often like having like spiral thoughts 
So I will tell myself that my only job right now is to drive. So for me, saying my only job right now is to drive makes me very focused on completing that task safely. And that is really helpful for someone like me who has a tendency to like go somewhere else. That really, really helps me. So hopefully that helps you. So right now, my only job, this Barbie's job is journaling a little bit. Oh, I just hit myself in the face with that. And eating smart sweets. And then probably, if we're being honest with each other, scrolling some TikTok before going to sleep. It's been an extremely busy work day. I haven't really had a minute to catch my breath at all. I was gonna go to the office, but then I was like, I actually can't waste time commuting today. So I've been working from home and it's 1 p.m. and I'm just going to heat up some lunch. So I have some of that dinner that I had last night. So I'm just gonna heat that up and eat and take a break and then keep grinding. Just finishing up my work day. Holy crap, this was a busy day, but I'm supposed to run tomorrow night. It's supposed to be 34 degrees and I also have a really busy day tomorrow. So, and because I worked from home today, it's like definitely a better idea for me to go out running tonight because it is only 28 degrees right now. I do have a little bit of knee pain and uh, it's really not enough for me to like not go out for a run, but I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it because obviously we don't wanna get injured, but yeah, we're gonna head out for a little run now. Nothing like a smile in the morning. Okay, so this is my street. You can see that they've like closed down one side because they're starting the one way. But I think people are very confused by it. And I wonder how long it's gonna take before we all catch on. But so far it looks like it's decreased the traffic coming through our street, which is wonderful. That was so hard, but I feel really good. Now I'm making myself some dinner and I'd like to show you what my fridge looks like. Yeah, there's not much in here. So I took like, I don't know how I'm creating this out of nothing, but I made some hard boiled eggs. I have a bit of green onion. I'm just toasting up some toast and some butter and then I'm gonna do guac. I have some dill, mustard and lemon to make a little egg salad sandwich. I can't believe I'm just pulling this out of nowhere, but I kind of did this on purpose. I didn't really want to spend money on groceries. Did I mention this in this vlog? I didn't, because I was just alone for dinners, I didn't want to spend money on groceries this week, which I know is like not the healthiest thing, but I just really want to be able to ball out when I'm in LA later this month or in like a week. Actually, yeah, we leave a week tomorrow. Like next Thursday, we're leaving. Anyways, I'm just trying to save money. So I'm literally doing what I can, but I think it's gonna be delish. So it's fine, it's fine. Okay, kind of fire. Doesn't that look amazing? Good morning, friends. It's gonna be a good day. She's gonna be a busy one. We're actually going to shoot a video at the zoo, which will be really fun, but it's also gonna be 34 degrees. So I have strapless top on. I'm gonna have this on and then when we go to the zoo, take this baby off. I'm just about to get on my first call of the day. I'm all ready, so as soon as this call is done, I'm gonna go into the office. And then we're going to the zoo this afternoon, but a bunch of meetings, bunch of work in between there. So cute! Hi, princess! Hi. Oh my god, why is it so cute? Get a splash. <laughs> okay, I'm done work. It's like 6 p.m. I'm just heading into Safeway to get a couple things for dinner tonight because we truly have no no food. So I just needed to go and get something. So we're gonna have turkey burgers. So I just we have some turkey. I just need the buns and the fixings. And then I was thinking 
that um, I could get. I think it's Safeway that does like the seven grain salad. I love that. So I'm gonna try and get some of that. And I'm happy that I brought a tote to bring to the zoo. So now I don't have to have a paper bag. Oh, I can't even walk in this entrance. Okay, bye. Okay, dinner time. I have these turkey burgers that I just melted some Swiss cheese on top. So they look like little snowballs. <laughs> Um, and then we've got the buns cut up here, seven green salad, red onion, tomato. I got green leaf lettuce. I really like that type of lettuce. Grainy mustard, that's my favorite. Mac likes barbecue sauce, ketchup, and what is that, mustard. I also remembered that I put like my midday squares up here, but I always forget about them. And the other day I picked up two of these cookie dough because I haven't tried cookie dough yet. And then I also had a random peanut butter one. I usually like know what I have in the fridge, but I just forgot about these. So I'm so excited. So I'm going to try the cookie dough one after dinner. Okay, so Mac and I are going to walk to the library because we just wanted something to do. And I have two books that I need to give back. One of them is Happy Go Money. It was pretty good, but not my favorite finance book. And then this one, Strangers to Ourselves. This one was really good. So highly recommend this one. It's all about mental health and all these people's different stories. So yeah. And then I have a couple that are ready for me to pick up. I just realized that I should definitely bring a water bottle because it's hot outside and Mac also asked me to get him a beer and put it in a Yeti for a little library walk. Okay, water first. I forget which books I have on hold so it would be a surprise. I think I have two or three and I haven't read in probably like a week because I haven't had anything to read. Okay, water. Seems to hold me like you don't. You're so wonderful. We've got a kitty cat friend. Oh, you said Ching is back. Is that bad? I don't know. I know nothing about cats. Well, you need a cat. You're a goose, For a right? little bit, yeah, goose. I didn't take care of it. Okay, bye, cats. You coming? Bye. It's Friday. Thank goodness. Oh my goodness, it's been a busy week. <laughs> it's been a good week, honestly. But like, if I told you everything that me and my team, we've done this week, you'd be like, holy shit, that's a lot. So this morning, I'm going in early to the office. Um, I'm actually filming a mini course. Arcade is starting to come out with some mini courses, so I'm actually filming the first one. So that should be really exciting. We've been planning that for a really long time. And I've had the course like scripted out for a while. It's just, it's been a bit, or like our filming day kept getting pushed. So today is our filming day. So I did my hair, did my makeup. I brought my makeup with me so that once I see my makeup on camera, I can touch it up. And after that, we have a discovery call with a new client. Then we have an internal meeting and then another internal meeting. And then I do have like quite a few things that I have to get done by end of today. Usually Fridays like kind of ramp down, but this Friday is not that, so that's okay. And then later at um, like 5.30ish, we're going to Max Parents and we're doing a little birthday celebration for myself, like a little happy hour, not a full dinner, just a little visit. And then tomorrow I am getting my first tattoo. I'm freaking out. Anyways, you'll have to watch the next vlog for that one. And then I'm having a birthday celebration with my family. So my birthday isn't until like next weekend, but I will be away. So that's why we're doing some stuff this weekend. So it's gonna be a great weekend. It'll be pretty busy. Um, what else do I have going on? I have my first long run. I think it's an eight kilometer long run, which will be pretty intense, but I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna try and do that Saturday morning before my tattoo appointment because it looks like the weather's gonna be best on Saturday um, as opposed to Sunday, but that's just gonna make for a really busy Saturday. I'm gonna do my long run, do my tattoo, and then go and celebrate with my family, but it should be good. I'm gonna order a Starbucks 
Um, ooh, Mitzi actually just asked me if I if she if I wanted a Starbucks. Okay, what do I want? Um, well, I mean, I was gonna get an American Amisto, but now that someone else is paying, I might get something fancy. Let's see what I want. Not something fancy, but like a latte or something. It's not that warm out today, so it's like giving fall vibes a little bit. <clears throat> I just had this weird flashback of like going back to school and like university in the fall time and like even my time when I was at St. FX in Nova Scotia and like fall over there was so beautiful. It was just amazing. But anyways, I'm giving getting fall vibes today even though it's not yet fall. I was saying to Mac that like I am okay with fall coming because I've had such a great summer and I'm gonna still have a great summer, like my trip next week. Um, oh, I'm getting some nice light in the car. But because I've been running, I'm excited for the fall weather because fall running is gonna be absolutely amazing because it's just a lot more comfortable. So I'm like, pfft, I love fall, so bring it on. I just don't want winter. Okay, I'm trying to do two things at once here, but um, I was also going to do, as soon as Starbucks brings out their fall drinks, I was going to do a taste test of all of the drinks because you know I'm a Starbucks girly. Okay, should I get a brown sugar oat Americano? No. No. Maybe I should get a Starbucks blonde hazelnut latte. That sounds dope half sweet or Starbucks blonde vanilla latte. Let's do hazelnut, like might as well. Okay. Could I please get a grande blonde hazelnut latte, half sweet? You're the best. Grande Blonde Hazelnut Latte Half Sweet. Perfect, okay, so I can just go straight into the office now. Lucky me. Like, kind of makes my hair look like it's like red and like, it's kind of a vibe. Okay, talk later. Hi, I just got home. Um, I was planning to come home at lunchtime, but it's 2.15. My work stuff just took a while. I mean, I'm still working, but we filmed that mini course this morning and I crushed it. If I do say so myself, I was able to film it all in like just over an hour. Sorry if you can hear the rain. I just have the screen door open, but Mac is going to get me some beef peanut saute noodle soup for lunch, which I'm very excited about. I just haven't eaten all day. It's been crazy. So he's going to do that for me. And I do have some work I have to finish up, but I'm just going to do it from home. I have some filming to do. So we're trying to finish off the week strong. It's been such a busy week, but I feel like really, really proud of the work that I did this week. So we're ending on a high note. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at how amazing this looks. Ah! You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Shine as bright as you. Even the dark days still see light. Even the